What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, we gotta check this out. Transgender fighter Elena McLaughlin. McLaughlin? Laughlin? Laughlin? Don't even know how to pronounce this person's last name. Won their MMA debut. Um, the likes to dislike ratio on this video is astonishing. 5.1k dislikes to compare to 617 likes. Um, I'm gonna say my thoughts and opinions before I even watch this after we react to this. All right, this is gonna be a touchy one. Hopefully I don't get canceled for this. But uh, yeah, let's check this out. Ah, the world we live in, man. Let's get right into this. Jeez. Picked away there as they get in the clinch and this is where McLaughlin. Position. Her, her power, oh, her strength, that one hurt. the same. Yep. Very appreciative for Provost to take this fight. I don't know how appreciative is that. The, the kicks, she hasn't been. Uh, she it gotta be the person this punishment, but in the pink. Did not find it. Protection there from Provost. Dangerous situation. It's almost like if you're walking. And she suffers to this day from PTSD. Oh my. The big, now the strength. She tried to go for the double. Go up, does pretty now. We might have her being deep. deep. And the then tap. Alana McLaughlin. Alana McLaughlin, the second, openly transgender woman to compete in MMA in the United States, won his debut fight against a real woman on Friday night via submission. The 38-year-old man used a rear naked choke hold against Celine Provost to end the match 3 minutes, 32 seconds into the second round. McLaughlin, who began his gender transition after leaving the U.S. Army Special Forces in 2010, said he hopes to be a pioneer for transgender athletes in combat sports. I want to pick up the mantle that Fallon put down, McLaughlin told Outsports before the fight, referring to Fallon Fox, who in 2012 became the first transgender woman to fight in MMA. Right now, I'm following in Fallon's footsteps. I'm just another step along the way and it's my great hope that there are more to follow behind me. Fox, who sat cage-side Friday, last fought in 2014. Four years later, Patricio Manuel became the first transgender male to compete in a pro boxing match in the United States when he beat Hugo Aguilar via unanimous decision. McLaughlin began training a year ago and was cleared to fight by the Florida State Boxing Commission after having his hormone levels tested, according to ESPN. He said it was a nightmare finding an opponent. I have nothing but respect for Provest, McLaughlin said. The fight was originally scheduled for August 6, but was postponed after Provost, a 35-year-old boxing and MMA veteran, tested positive for the coronavirus. Provost landed multiple punches in the first round before McLaughlin came out on top. As he was declared the victor, McLaughlin wore a shirt with the phrase, end, transgenocide. His debut comes as multiple states argue bills aimed at restricting transgender athletes from participating in youth, high school and college sports. If we want to see more trans athletes, if we want to see more opportunities for trans kids, we're going to have to work out way into those spaces and make it happen. It's time for trans folks to be in sports and be more normalized. <sighs> McLaughlin told out sports. Um. <laughs> okay. Here's my take. You don't have to agree with me. I got to make sure I choose my words wisely here. Here's my take. Do I have a problem with someone choosing to switch their sex, their sexual orientation, whatever? Do what you do. I think what I have an issue with is a male, being born a male, fighting a woman in a combat sport men are naturally stronger and yes there's procedures you go through to change your testosterone levels and all these other things but genetically you're still a man even if you change the parts about you even if you change your physical appearance even if you inject yourself with estrogen and everything else that you can do technically you're still a man. You are. And the fact that a man 
being born a man can change his gender to fight in women MMA. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if I agree with that. I just don't. I don't know if I agree with that. You can cancel me. You can say you're tripping. Whatever. I just don't know if I agree with that because it's a guy. It's a little... It's still a man. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's still... We're, men are still genetically stronger than women. You just are. So, I, I don't know, man. Uh, <clears throat> this, this was... This is the world we live in. In 2021, this is the world we live in. Like, I don't... I don't... I don't understand it. And maybe maybe it's not meant for me to understand it, but it just to me it seems like we're just really switching things up for the sake of switching things up. Like I said, if you want to identify as a man or a woman, switch your sexual preferences, switch your sex, go ahead, do what you do. But at some point it's like when it comes to sports, especially like that, like, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I legitimately, I don't know how to feel about that. I, I'm, all I got is a big question mark on my face. Cause it's just like, this is what we doing now. Is this going to be become the norm? Or, you know what I'm saying? Potentially someone that wants to be a woman changes themselves and then now they want to play in the WNBA I I don't know I don't know man <laughs> I, I, this is one of those videos I legitimately I have no my, I don't have many words here the only thing I can tell you is I, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of it I think men should be fighting men and women should be fighting women however you were born that's what it should be based off of that's my personal opinion but yeah i would like to get y'all thoughts and opinions on this this is a interesting one uh to say the least comment down below let me know how do y'all feel about transgender men fighting women in combat sports do you guys agree with it do you guys disagree with it me personally i don't agree with it but let me know why y'all agree or disagree with it. Appreciate all the love and support. Vote to 60K. Appreciate y'all kicking in with me. And uh, I'll see y'all on the next one, man. I don't even know what to say.